What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Twin Motion animation tutorial for you. So one of the cool features contained inside of Twin Motion is it gives you the ability to animate objects along paths. Um, however, with the uh, standard path tool, it doesn't really give you a whole lot of control over what you can add. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to animate the movement of a custom object inside of Twin Motion. So an object that isn't necessarily contained inside of the default path tool. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So first of all, model credit for this model goes to the city and this is actually a model that's in here both by Andre S and Unforgiven. So I believe Unforgiven did the first model and then Andre S came through and added all of these uh, all of these textures in here to make these buildings look more like buildings. So if you want to download this and bring it into Twin Motion, you, you can find this in the SketchUp 3D warehouse. So we've talked about this a little bit in a previous video, but um, Twin Motion has a path animation tool contained inside of the urban settings that's really good for animation animating objects along different paths. So like if I wanted to have vehicles running down this road, for example, I can click on vehicle path and then the little pin right here and I can use this to animate movement of objects along a path that I select. So if I place this path, then this will automatically start adding cars going down that path with all of the settings that we want. And so the nice thing about this is what it does is it automatically populates all of those cars in here. Um, same with the character path. So if we wanted to have people walking down a sidewalk, for example, you can use this path in order to do that and that automatically adds the people animation um, and they're already rigged to walk along the path and uh, other things like that. So the nice thing about this is this does all of this automatically but the problem with these tools is they only populate these lines and paths with the objects inside of the Twin Motion library. However, this last option allows you to animate the movement of custom objects along paths. And so let's say for example that we wanted to animate a boat moving into this little um, this little uh, dock area. But let's say that we wanted to at animate the movement of a boat into this little bay right here. So obviously none of these objects are going to work because we don't want vehicles, bicycles, or characters. And so what we want to do is we want to create what's known as a custom path. And so what a custom path is going to do is that's going to allow us to create a path for an object. So let's say that we have an object that comes in from out here. You can add this custom path in here and you can see how if I zoom in by default what this does is this animates a cube moving along the path and obviously we don't necessarily want a cube in here because that's not very realistic it doesn't really help us at all but what that's doing is that's showing us the movement along that custom path well what we can do is we can replace the cube with a library object so the way that we can do that is by going into our library and we're gonna go into vehicles, boats, and let's go ahead and animate, let's use the yacht. That's a pretty big model, but I think we'll bring it in anyway. So we're gonna take yacht 01 and we're gonna drag that into this little box where the box currently sits. And so when we let up on this, you can see how what this is gonna do is that's going to replace that object with this yacht model. And obviously the yacht model is coming in a little bit big, so we might wanna do something a little bit smaller. Maybe we'll replace it with a sailboat. But you can see how this sailboat gets animated following along this custom path inside of Twin Motion. And so by doing this, you can really animate the movement of whatever you want. Um, along a path. Now I will say this isn't necessarily quite as good for other kinds of movements so you probably wouldn't be able to use this to like make a door rotate or something like that but you can use this to create a custom animation of a single object inside of Twin Motion. And so in general, the tools in here are very similar to the tools you find in the other path options. So you can set the different kinds of anima animation. So for example, you can set this to be a loop or you can set it to bounce back and forth between the endpoints. So you can set the kind of animation as well as the speed at which objects travel along this path. So, and then the delay is going to set how long this object sits still before it moves along this path. So you could set this to delay for 10 seconds and then start moving if you wanted to do that. So you can also set rotation 
along the path. So in this case, obviously we don't want to do that, but you can set the orientation. You can also set if your uh, object is going to follow that path when it's moving forward or not. Usually the answer is yes, it is. And then this last option is a physics option. And so the physics option is in here um, so that you don't animate objects up above faces. So for example, if I was to move this up above the ground, right now, and we're gonna turn our delay to zero, right now this would animate this floating above the ground, which is obviously not what we want. But, and so if you turn physics on, what this'll do is this'll take this object and it'll drop it to hit the face down below. And you may need to just kind of click and move this just a little bit in order to get this to do that. There's a certain point at which the physics kicks in. Like this is way up here, this doesn't drop this down anymore. But if I get to a certain point, even if I put my path above, this object, it's going to drop my object down to whatever face is down below. So you can use the physics to make sure that this is riding along a face rather than floating in the air. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Have you used the custom animation or the custom path tool before? I'd still love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.